the microphone. Can we get some audio? Can you hear me? Very good. Go ahead. Oh, there we go. I think, yeah? No? Can we get a little louder? What? What? <laughs> All right. Go ahead and take a seat for me for a few minutes, please. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and staff. I am Dr. Zatora Woodley, the Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Doña Ana Community College. Welcome to the Doña Ana Community College commencement to honor our very special guests, our graduates. We are so happy to be together to celebrate tonight. Of course, we continue to be cautious about limiting the spread of COVID-19. As a result, we have masks and hand sanitizer available around the Pan Am Center. We will wear masks on stage as the students cross, and as the graduates cross the stage, we will congratulate them. Thank you for understanding. As a courtesy, we ask that you please silence your cell phones. Graduates, please refrain from leaving the floor until the ceremony ends. So let us begin by thanking Mr. Chris Villa and the Gadsden Middle School, High School, and High School Alum Bands for providing the music this evening. Thank you. <laughs> Yay, you guys are doing good. Okay, the Gadsden High School ROTC will present the colors this evening under, under the direction of Commander Mark M Morrow. Miss Tiffany Brooks will perform the national anthem. So I'd like to ask those who are willing and can to please stand. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? We're so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose but stripes and bright stars to the perilous fight or the rapids we wash were so gallantly streaming and the rockets was 
was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner away o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? So we're going to ask you to remain standing just for a moment, a few more minutes. Every year, we dedicate this ceremony to the memory of the students and staff we have lost during the year. Tonight's commencement is dedicated to the mem memory of Kanan Jace Bauer and Manuel Hernandez. In their honor, I ask you to please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Please remain standing as Pastor James Underwood, Director of Missions for Rio Grande Baptist Association, offers tonight's invocation. Good evening. Congratulations to all of these beautiful graduates here. May God's rich and mighty blessings be upon each one of you. Would you join me as we pray together? Our gracious Father who art in heaven, blessed be your name. Let us honor you in all that we say and do tonight. Lord, we would thank you for these beautiful graduates and all the hard work that has brought them to this occasion. Lord, we thank you for the patience, for the endurance that you have given these graduates. Thank you for parents, for friends, for their own children. Certainly, we thank you for the instructors and the professors who have taught them these who have encouraged them and supported them. Lord, they could not have done what they have accomplished without their love and without their guidance. Lord, your word tells us that you know the plans that you have for us, plans to bless us, plans, plans to prosper us. And I pray that we will all follow your plan for our lives, for our community, and for our world. Dear God, would you help us to follow your plan and purpose always? Help our graduates to be difference makers. Lords, these graduates will face many challenges, but with our trust in you, they will be more than equal to these challenges. Bless them with your strength and your help. When they are discouraged, may they look up to you. Lord, I pray that these graduates will have wisdom from above, that they will walk and conduct their lives in grace and discernment. Help them to be wise leaders to influence for good in this generation. 
Help them to be light in this dark world. Help them to be salt to preserve truth and good. Lord, we ask for your help, for your power, that they may walk and live continually in honesty and in integrity. Lord, build within them a heart of consciousness to be more concerned about personal character and integrity over personal gain. Lord, your word tells us to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Lord, we do ask that you open doors that need to be opened. Lord, that you close doors that need to be closed. Bless these graduates with your love, your grace, your treasure, that they may grow and develop and flourish and bring honor and glory under your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Underwood. You may be seated. All right. So joining us tonight on the platform this evening. So as I read your name, if you'll just wave or stand, whatever you prefer. <laughs> joining us tonight on the platform this evening are our Doña Ana Community College Advisory Board members. Ms. Laura Salazar Flores from Gadsden Independent School District. <clears throat> Mr. Ray Jaramillo from Las Cruces Public Schools. <clears throat> Mr. Armando Cano from Gadsden Independent School District. Ms. Elva Jarai, Hatch Valley Public Schools. From the New Mexico State University Board of Regents, Regent Amu Davashtali. New Mexico State University Administrator, Dr. Ruth Johnston, Vice Chancellor and Chief Operating Officer. From our local school district superintendents, Mr. Travis Dempsey, Gadsden Independent School District. Mr. Ralph Ramos, Las Cruces Public Schools. And from Doña Ana Community College Administrators, our president, Dr. Monica Torres. Vice President for Business and Finance, Ms. Kelly Brooks. Interim Vice President for External Relations, Ms. Christy Martin. And representing our academic divisions, the Dean of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, Shannon Bradley. The Dean of Business and Public Services, Mark Nunley. The Dean of Health Sciences, Dr. Josefina Carmona. Dean of Science, Engineering and Mathematics, Joe Butler. Also joining us is DACC's 2022 Honorary Degree Recipient, Ms. Debbie Moore. And Senator Carrie Hamlin, who will introduce Ms. Moore later in our program.
Representing the students of Doña Ana College, Community College is the president of the Student Government Association, William Barella. <laughs> Serving as readers this evening are Drs. Josefina Carmona and Mr. Jose Aranda. and our sign language interpreters for tonight, Emily Peroni and Emily Newberry. At this time, we'd like to recognize the recipient of the Donald C. Rausch Excellence in Teaching Award, selected by DACC students. Let's congratulate Dr. Jiming Chu Professor and Science Department Chair in the Science, Engineering, and Mathematics Department. We'd also like to acknowledge our faculty. So faculty, if you'll stand and be acknowledged. Thank you for all that you do. All right, it is, a great, it is with great pleasure that I now introduce the president of Doña Ana Community College, Dr. Monica Torres. Good evening, graduates. And let me add my congratulations to everybody else's tonight. At commencement, we focus on the certificates and degrees that you earned, and for good reason, you worked hard for them. But I want to take a few minutes to remind you that those college credentials represent so much more about you as an individual and as a graduate. That you have developed the skills and knowledge of your industry or academic discipline. That you have developed other skills, communication, critical thinking, teamwork, and problem solving. And finally, that you know how to persist, even when faced with challenges. And we all know that there have been challenges in the last couple of years. Congratulations on just seeing it through. These skills not only help signal your successful completion of a degree or a certificate, they will also help you improve the quality of life in your families, your workplace, and your community. Congratulations. Of course, the commencement ceremony is all about the accomplishments of graduates. But we know that our students get help along the way from many, many people. I would like to ask parents, grandparents, husbands, wives, partners, children, grandchildren, brothers, sisters, and other family and friends of graduates, please take a moment and stand. Graduates, I want to take a moment. I want to take a moment to thank another group of people. We don't always see them, but they make a difference in your lives. And those are people who donate money for scholarships. Some people create scholarships to honor a loved one who has passed. Others create scholarships for students preparing to enter a particular part of the workforce. Others give support to students from their hometown. Lots of reasons why people give scholarships. Graduates, if you received a scholarship while at DACC, please raise your hand. And let's take a moment to just recognize those who, who saw the value of education and believed in you and donated money to help you with your education.
And I'm going to add my thanks uh, to the faculty and staff. I'm going to add my thanks to Zatura's thanks. You know, these are the folks who helped you work your way at, through DACC. People at front desks, people on the phone, people in Zoom help sessions, in the classroom, in laboratories or clinicals or other work-based settings. DACC faculty and staff, please stand. Graduates, let's thank them again for all of their support of you and your educational goals. I'm sure you intended to be thanked. Um, additionally, we're extremely pleased, pleased to honor our graduates who are veterans or are certainly actively serving our country right now. These graduates are wearing red, white, and blue honor cords as part of their regalia. Will the members of DACC community who are wearing this honor cord please stand? DACC thanks you for your sacrifice and your service. It is customary for colleges and universities to honor outstanding individuals who have made great contributions to educational, business, scientific, and cultural life of their communities. We are so pleased to be doing that again tonight, honoring someone who is truly committed to improving the quality of life of our community. Tonight, our outstanding degree recipient will be introduced by Carrie Hamblin. Ms. Hamblin is an NMSU graduate, the CEO of Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce, and a state senator representing District 38. She is a supporter of Doniana Community College and a dear friend to our 2022 honorary degree recipient whom she will introduce. Please help me welcome Senator Carrie Hamblin. Thank you, President Torres and the entire Doniana Community College family. Before I get into introducing my dear friend, I would like to just share with you as graduates, when you were walking in, looking at the faces of all your family members, so excited and so proud of you. Are you all proud of your graduates? Now, wait a minute. I know you all have been waiting for this. Are you all proud of your graduates? Let's hear it. That energy is so contagious and so invigorating here. And I have to share with you that it's such an incredible honor for me to be able to introduce to you my friend Debbie Moore, who is the recipient of the Associate of Business Occupation degree. Now, I couldn't think of a more appropriate person to be the recipient of this honor than my colleague. Her service to this community for six years now, as of this past Sunday, has covered so many different areas. Everything from helping businesses to legislative relationships, taking care of our most vulnerable, and helping those who serve our country. When Debbie Moore moved to Las Cruces in 2016 with her husband, Bill, the community welcomed her with open arms and hearts. It was not difficult for Debbie to immediately get involved in not only helping our businesses, but in the causes that are near and dear to her heart. That includes Mesilla Valley Casa, the Bridge of Southern New Mexico, and helping those who have served our country. So thank you again. Debbie Moore has immersed herself in our community, and her generosity of spirit is seen in many aspects of our city. And as much as she has embraced the residents and beauty of Las Cruces, they have also embraced her with equal measure. It is hard to believe that it has been over four years since her wonderful husband, Bill, suddenly passed away. He was a good and kind man, and at his service, the community filled to capacity the church that he would go to every week. Debbie is loved in our community, and not only for her heart, but also for her dedication to serving others, a value instilled in her by her parents while growing up in Oklahoma. As my friend and colleague, I am not surprised by her receiving this distinction that is given to community members who demonstrate outstanding services to colleges and their community. 
Debbie is a longtime supporter of community colleges and is a community college alumna herself. She was the chair of the governing board at Central New Mexico Community College. She was a member of the CNM Foundation Board of Directors and the CNM Presidential Search Committee. And when she arrived in Las Cruces, she immediately started being a diligent supporter of Doniana Community College. She was active in the 2019 bond election campaign supporting DACC, writing articles and talking to every single person that she knows. I'm watching our interpreter here because such every single person. And she also has served as an unofficial advisor to leaders at DACC, offering insights drawn from her vast experiences as a community college supporter and a community leader. Now, I know Debbie is wicked smart. I can say that with a Boston accent, wicked smart. She is compassionate, she is creative, and she is practical. She is one of the best team players I know and is able to draw the skills and strengths out of others and lift them up so everybody benefits and learns. Friends and family members, it is my honor to present to you the recipient of the Associate of Business Occupations degree, Debbie Moore. Well, I think you know I love community colleges, so there we are. Thank you, Senator Hamlin, for such kind words, Dr. Torres, members of the administration, faculty and staff. Words are truly inadequate to express how much this recognition and honor means to me. My heart is full and overflowing. Thank you. My deepest appreciation to my friends, colleagues and family with me tonight and watching virtually. I treasure your continued love and support to me both personally and professionally. To the graduates who stand be who sit before me, I should make you stand, you know, I have to stand. I salute you and applaud you on this next step of your wonderful journey of life. To your family and friends in the audience and watching virtually celebrating this accomplishment with you, I know you would not be here without them, without their love, support, and probably some help along the way with some homework or maybe making coffee so you can stay up and study. If you know me, you know I'm typically not at a loss for thoughts and words, and I typically don't have a written speech, but I didn't trust myself tonight. I've been thinking, what would I say? What could I say that you would remember? That thought process quickly elevated to my what keeps me up at night list over the past weeks. Will I say anything? Will they remember anything, Debbie Moore says? So you know where I went? I went to YouTube and I searched commencement speeches. Now there are hundreds, probably thousands of speeches from the admiral that tells you to first make your bed to the, all the encouragements of be yourself, be authentic. Many, many famous successful people who had given speeches through the years. All of them really summarize what you're probably expecting me to say tonight. Do your best, follow your dreams, set your high goals, and the list goes on. I was so overwhelmed. Whatever will I talk about? This class of 2022, who along with the professors have already overcome the challenge of the past two years in pandemic, this class who learned Zooming in a way more, is way more than just a car going fast as it was in my day. This class, who's learned to balance virtual learning and in person and back and forth and back and forth. This class, who navigated all the uncharted waters with tenacity, determination, and plain old grit. This class, you, are absolutely amazing. So I stand here before you tonight. I decided to talk to you from my heart. 
Lessons learned from my life's journey, my story. You see, our lives are simply a story. We write our verses, we write our words, and tonight, you're part of my story. And guess what? I'm a part of yours. There is a children's book that has lots of meaning that can be applied to each of our stories. I often refer to that great philosopher, Dr. Seuss. The very last book he wrote, Oh, the Places You'll Go. If you haven't read it lately, it's a good read and you might get one for graduation. Dr. Seuss begins with one straightforward word, you. He uses that word over and over and over in the book. I start there. Always be you. Dr. Seuss sums it up nicely and you know where you know, you know what you know. You are the one who'll decide where you go. However, Dr. Seuss knew that the road's not going to be easy. There are obstacles you're going to get in your way. Trust me, life can be complicated. It can be challenging. And often, to be quite honest, it can suck. Pain, loss, tears, along with joys, smiles, and laughter are all a part of life's journey. As Carrie referenced, I lost my husband almost four years ago. But the famous saying that he left with all of us is don't sweat the small things and they are all small. Remember that no matter what comes your way, you, you stay focused, the direction you're going, and you will overcome. Did you know that just before he wrote Oh, the Places You Go, he wrote another book called I Am Not Going to Get Up Today. Wow, have we all had those days? Being true to you often means staying in bed binging on Netflix, reading a book, listening to music, relaxing. Be sure to take care of all of you, mentally, physically, spiritually, however that is defined by you. Second, find your passion. As a young girl, my father was a minister. He always picked me up from school. We'd have these long conversations about what I want to be when I grew up. My father always said my full name, Deborah Luann, you can be anything you want to be, but always do it with heart. Even after graduation, my pathway seemed unclear. Till one day, 1983, I was hired by the Waxahachie, Texas Chamber of Commerce. Unbeknownst to me, my passion and my heart was waiting for me and my career path. There was a mentor I found that found me. Her name was Joanne. She took me all through the town. I learned about the chamber work. But you know what else I learned? I learned that businesses, that the community can give back to the community. And it was a reflection of what my dad had taught me. My life would come full circle because I'd watched my parents impact that community, my hometown many years ago. Now, almost 40 years later in my career, I remain passionate. COVID released a passion in me for my businesses, for my community, for you, DACC. You all stepped up at a level that was impressive, that impacted our community. We all pitched in. We handled it. Am I passionate about my community? You betcha. Because we made a difference in people's life. Passion. Own your passion. When you find your passion, it may find you. Suddenly, you have renewed confidence in your journey. Passion can guide you. Remember, it only takes one spark to start a fire. Lastly, dare greatly. Theodore Roosevelt, you've probably heard it. It's not the critic who counts, the, not the man who points out how strong the man stumbles. The credit goes to the man who actually in the arena and who at the worst, if he fails, he at least fails while daring greatly. Come out with scars and bruises, but you're going to come out because you've been in the arena. Stay in the arena. Dare greatly. At the end of the day, yes, we've learned a lot over the past two years. We've learned normality can change in a heartbeat. We've learned to help others in need. We've learned life is precious. We've learned to spend more time with those we love. What do I hope you remember tonight? You. You can go wherever you want to go. Wherever your path leads you, you will make a difference. Follow your passion, listen to your heart. The last words of all oh, the places you'll go. And will you succeed? Yes, 
You will indeed. 98 and one quarter percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So be your name Buxom or Bigsby or Bray or Mordecai, Ally Van, Ellen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Debbie, and thank you, Senator Hamlin. Yeah. No, I think we're good. All right, we're almost there, almost there. Almost just one more. All right, so tonight we also celebrate the 56 graduates from the Arrowhead Park Early College High School. And the 23 graduates from Arrowhead Park Medical Academy. and the 33 graduates from the Alta Vista Early College High School. Now you can recognize these graduates by their stoles. The Arrowhead Trailblazers are wearing maroon stoles. The Alta Vista Mighty Owls, I forgot to put on my glasses, that's why I can't see. My, the Alta Vista Mighty Owls are wearing white stoles. Let's give these hardworking young people another special round of applause. Okay, we've gotten to the part you've been waiting for. We will now present our candidates. Will the candidates receiving associate's degrees and or certificates of completion, please rise. All right, so on the recommendation of the faculty, it is a privilege and an honor to present to you, President Torres, our candidates for the associate's degree and or certificates of completion from NMSU's Dona Ana Community College. Okay, before they come up here, because now this is the part you've been waiting for, them to come up. So the remaining portion of this program will be the presentation of our candidates. We welcome your applause for each graduate. However, please be considerate of the next graduate being introduced. Dr. Josefina Garmona and Mr. Jose Aranda will now read the candidates' names.
Andrew. Is this on? Is this on? Testing. Te Andrew Paul Miramontes, Associate of Applied Science, Architectural Technology. Rory Watson Oderkirk, Oderkirk, Associate of Applied Science, Architectural Technology. I think that's the part he wants. Alejandro Raul Covarrubia, Associate of Applied Science, Automotive Technology, Crimson Scholar. Christian Hernandez, Associate of Applied Science, Automotive Technology. Alexis Manuel Razo, Associate of Applied Science. Luis Arturo Robles, Associate of Applied Science, Automotive Technology. John Patrick Ryan III, Automotive Technology. Alexis Anel Flores, Building Construction Technology. Francisco Alfonso Zuniga Muñiz, Building Construction, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Rene Ayala, Computer Technology, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Gabriela Cypress Hernandez, Computer Technology, IT Specialist. Lorenzo Enrique Renteria, Civil Survey Technology. David Paul Esqueda, Computer Technology, Crimson Scholar Graduate. Ponton. Anthony Ricardo Ponton, Computer Technology, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Aaron Jeffrey Richardson, Crimson Scholar, Systems Administration. Oscar Bustillos, Cybersecurity. Lynn Tran, Cybersecurity, Computer Technology, System Administration. Joseph Kyle Ayai, Computer Technology, Cybersecurity, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Christian Lara, Electrical Line Worker. Jose Enrique Arreola Dominguez. Electrical Apprenticeship. Anthony Robert Dvorak, Electronics Technology, Biomedical Electronics, National Technical Honor Society. Clarissa Nunez, Electronics Technology. Kerry Lewis, Heating Air Refrigeration. <laughs> Maximus Luis Misquez, Heating Air and Refrigeration. <laughs> Alberto Rojas, 
heating, air, and refrigeration. Crimson Scholar graduate. Heather Ann Godfrey, mechanical drafting and solid modeling. Crimson Scholar graduate, architectural technology. Raimundo Barreras, pre-architecture. Alyssa Chavez, Associate of Water Technology. Emilio Andres Piñedo, Water Technology. Manuel Alejandro Espinosa, Welding Technology, Crimson Scholar. <laughs> Ricardo Escalante Jr., Welding. Mario Felix Silva, Welding Technology. Alex Michael Sutherland, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Justin Almaguer, Associate in General Studies. Brisa Anchondo, Crimson Scholar. Susan Campbell. Patricia Chavez, Crimson Scholar. Jennifer Lopez Gonzalez. I kept coming up only to say it once. Mer Marisa? Marisa? Marisa Romero. <laughs> Joseph Woolley, Jr. Enrique Aguilera. <laughs> Israel Aguirre. Systems Administration. Amber Rose Andrade. Arash Bader, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Chriselle Becerra, Meritorious Graduate. Cheyenne Nicole Burton. Crimson Scholar. Amanda Bustamante. Stephanie Chavez.
Scarlett Cortez. Denise Alexandra Delgado. Logan Anthony Dumay, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Ivan Esparza. Alea Marie Esqueda. Priscilla Arlette Franco, meritorious graduate. Jason Gonzalez. <laughs> Libni Sime Gonzalez. Guadalupe González Padilla. <laughs> Valerie Guzman. <laughs> Quinn Parker Hayden, meritorious graduate. Cassandra Arlene Hernandez. <laughs> Bianca Arlette Hernandez. <laughs> Yancy Hinojos. Ruben Hassel, Game Design. Yaneli huh? Inzurriaga. Patricia Ruth Jimenez. Joseph Ethan Jude Jurado. Raul Espino Jr. Destiny Leon. Serena Ariana Luna. Bianca Macias. Adrián Ángel Martínez. Adriana V. Martínez. Right now. 
Danny Faith McConnell. Jordan Rayanne Millard. Julian Nunez. Noel Bernando Ochoa Bojorquez. Angel. Angel Rene Padilla. I think I got it. Brianna Elizabeth Pasos. Eva Beatriz Perez. Natalia Elizabeth Peterson, meritorious graduate. Adriel. Adriel Resendiz. Alexa Michelle Ramirez. Elizabeth M. Ramirez. Michelle Yiyi Rivera. Eileen Robles Espinosa. Carla? Carla Noemi Robles Guzman. Monique Rocha. Isaac Romo. Dominic. Dominic Gabriel Zambrano. Paulina. Alexia Paulina Salazar. Daisy Estrella Sanchez. Mia Celeste Sanchez. Aaron or Aaron? Ethan Aaron Sandoval. Maritza Serna Montoya. Miguel Angel Sosa. Daniel Gray Steele. Billy Stremmel. Yeah. 
Raúl Ureña. Victoria or Victoria? Victoria Ray West. Caitlin R. White. Crimson Scholar graduate. Kayla Joelle Wood. Do I announce this mm -hmm. now? Victor Armendariz, Creative Media Digital Filmmaking. Do I say them all or just this? I don't know. It's all the same, just after just, you announce okay. <laughs> Elizabeth Chavez. Daniel Narciso Montoya. Mm, I like it. I know, right? Mia Mariposa Sanchez. Christian or Christian? Christian Michael Romero. Crimson Scholar graduate, meritorious graduate. Karen Tovar, Web Design Certificate, Crimson Scholar graduate. Is it Victoria? Victoria. Kristen Victoria Burciaga, Associate in Early Childhood Education. Is it Diane or Diane? Yasmeli Diane Carlos, Crimson Scholar. Rixana Dobbs, Crimson Scholar graduate, meritorious graduate. Monica Ann Elevario, Crimson Scholar graduate. Alondra. Alondra Hernandez, Certificate in Early Childhood Education. Jacqueline or Jacqueline? Brenda Jacqueline Herrera Onchondo, Crimson, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Ibaven. Cynthia E. Ibaven. Cristina or Christina? Cristina. Cristina Lucero. Jasmine Maldonado. Esmeralda Guadalupe. Esmeralda Guadalupe Martinez. Noemi Molinar. Julia Catherine. Julia Catherine Montoya, Crimson Scholar, graduate, meritorious graduate. Melissa E. Padilla, Crimson Scholar, graduate, meritorious graduate. Rima Rohi Kumar Patel, Crimson Scholar Graduate, Meritorious Graduate. Uh, 
Carla Pineda, Crimson, Crimson Scholar Graduate, Meritorious Graduate. Abigail Berenice. Abigail Berenice Ramos. Dora Sainz, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Silveria Faye Salazar, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Karina. Karina Isabel Salcedo. Veronica Sanchez. Bridget M. Sullivan. Paola Alejandra Viramontes. Matthew Andrew Young. Jade M. Porter. Brianna Marie Delgado. Mariah Lisette Diaz. Gabriella Suzanne Marie Dumay. Gabriella Suzanne Suzanne Marie Dumay. Megan A. Hulse. Natalia or Natalia? Natalie. Nat Natalie. <laughs> Natalie Mata. Jenea Marie Morgan, Associate in Education, Scrim Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Carmen Samantha Rodriguez Gonzalez. Annabel Sustaita. Michael D. Gorbitz, film crew trainee. Matthew Tracy Thompson, Associate of Applied Science, Game Development. Antunias. 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 Jael Alexa Antunias. Associate in Public Health, Crimson Scholar Graduate. Cynthia Diana Cockrell, Community Health Worker. David Enrique Delgado, Crimson Scholar Graduate, Public Health. <clears throat> Valerie Marie Juarez. Estefania Mendoza. 
Public Health. Casey Lee Thurman, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate, Community Health Worker. Anastasia Romanita Suniga. Adriana Acosta, Business Fundamentals. <clears throat> Luis Mario Sotomayor, Business Fundamentals. <clears throat> Gina Diaz, Associate of Business. Karina Irene Hernandez, Crimson Scholar. Judith Guinevere Lale, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Miguel Angel, no? Angel? Miguel Angel Medina. Crimson Scholar. No, because you said Angel Miguel, and I thought you were switching it. So that's all. Giselle Peña, Business man Management, Business Fundamentals. Spencer Christian Robbins, Crimson Scholar. Meritorious graduate. Javier Manuel Armendariz, Jr. <clears throat> Drafting and Graphics Technology. Ruben Burciaga. Associating Criminal Justice. Miranda Elena Diaz. <laughs> Ashley Abigail Guillen. Cheyenne Herrera. <laughs> Rebecca Erin Lackey. <laughs> Brianna Virginia Lacey. Isaiah Isidor Martinez. Huh? Yeah. Raul Matias Cardosa, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Shakia Yane McLaurin. Pamela Jacqueline Mena. Alexis Rene Palomares, Associate of Criminal Justice and Associate of Arts.
Violet Danielle Reyes, Ass Associate in Criminal Justice and Associate of Arts. Joshua Zachary Riley, Associate in Criminal Justice and Associate of Arts, Crimson Scholar Graduate. Kiara Martinez Rivera, Associate in Criminal Justice and an Associate of Arts. Carla Romero, Associate in Criminal Justice. Lynette Rubio, Associate of Business Occupations, Business Management. Rosalba Saavedra, Starley Torres, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Raymond Matthew Valladares. Lorena Alexandra Vargas. Christina Michelle Welch, Associate in Criminal Justice and an Associate of Arts. Isaiah Ray Archuleta Gonzalez, Associate of Applied Science, Culinary Arts. Saul Ivan Campos. Van Gordon Dimberg. Zuleika Fernandez. Alicia Jaques, Danielle Nicole Ortiz, Amy Melissa Peterson. Sarah K. Pulse, Hospitality and Tourism, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Julia Catherine Scheiderich, Crimson Scholar Graduate. Carla Mayela Varela. Julian Zavala. Julian, Julian. Oops, he did? Oh, okay, good. Judy Lynn Bailey. Emergency Medical Services.
Desiree Martinez. Jonathan Lopez. Levi Robert Wrinkles. Bauer? Catherine Elizabeth Bauer. Michael David Torres. <laughs> Trevor Fritz, Associate of Applied Science, Fire Science Technology Certificate in EMS, EMT Basic. Isaac Ismael Marin. Gabriel Rodriguez. Darian Joe Fernandez. Crimson Scholar graduate. Kyla Elizabeth Cornett, Associate of Applied Science, Health Information Technology. Crane. Angelica Jewel Crane, Crimson Scholar graduate. Deborah. Marie Gladham, Associate of Business Occupations and Business Management, Associate of Applied Science, Health Information Technology. Claudia Yanet Hernandez. Diana D. Kramis, Crimson Scholar Meritorious Graduate. Felicia or Felicia? Felicia Jessica Mendoza. Jody Ruiz. Health Information Technology. Mary April Searcy, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate, Certificate in Health Information Technology, Office Administration Technology and Medical Billing. Roxana Underwood. <laughs> Melanie Alize Carrasco, Hospitality Service Management. Karina or Karina? Karina Quesada, Associate of Applied Science, Law Enforcement. Erika or Erica? Erica Ruiz, Associate of Applied Science, Office Administration Technology. Magdalena. 
Magdalena G. Campos, Crimson Scholar Graduate. Alessandra Tablon Carrillo, Associate in Pre-Business. Brianda S. <laughs> Alyssa Renee Dominguez. <laughs> Amelia M. Coombs. Meritorious graduate, certificate in business fundamentals. Arrowhead Park, Early College High School. Gil or Jill? Gil Duron. Gil Duron. Patricia or Patricia? Hey. Adriana Patricia Escudero. Felicia. Felicia Flores Yanez. Jaslyn A. Garcia. Denise Belen Hernandez, Crimson Scholar. Ashley M. King, Crimson Scholar and National Honor Society. Lisette Lopez, Crimson Scholar graduate, meritorious graduate. Andrew Christopher Montenegro, Crimson Scholar graduate. Dulce Jacqueline Mora. <laughs> Ashley Prieto. Arrowhead Park Early College High School. Natalia. Natalia Renteria. Ivan. Is it Ivan? Ivan. Ivan Eduardo Salcedo. Obed. Obed Torres, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Juan Gerardo Martinez Espino, Commuted, Computed Tomography Certificate. Adriana Aguilar, certificate, certificate in Dental Assisting. Sorelli. Huh? Sorelli. Sorelli Jasmine Aragon. Natalyn Rose Chazalo. Nadine Alyssa Gonzalez. Haiti. Haiti or Ivy? Haiti, Millie Mena Gar Garica. Huh? Garcia. Huh? 
Stephanie Molinar, Crimson Scholar. Eileen Navarrete. Patricia Porras. Jasmine Andrea Robles, Associate of Arts. Mariana Valenzuela, Associate in General Studies. Eric Daniel Alanis, Crimson Scholar Graduate. Mariana Alderete, Crimson Scholar Graduate. Catherine Taylor Fernandez, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Maribel Montalvo, Crimson Scholar Graduate. Ashley Angelica Tafoya, Crimson Scholar Graduate. Brandy Lee Wilkie, Crimson Scholar. Ariel Alexandra Bischoff. Medical Assistant. Ariana Chavez. Larissa Jacelyn Clark, Associate of Applied Science, Medical Assistant. Tania Esquivel, Crimson Scholar Graduate. Jasmine Jimenez, Associate of Applied Science, Medical Assisting. Rihanna Page Moreno. Rebecca Marie Orozco, Crimson Scholar Graduate. Juana Ramos, Associate of Applied Science, Certificate in Nursing. Brooklyn Renteria, Crimson Scholar. Leanne Nieto. Ashley Reyes. <laughs> Alexandria Ray Romero. Katie 
Heidi Schramm. Victoria Lynn Valdez. Yasmin Zuniga. Angelica Alia Benavides, Associate in Nursing. Miriam Garcia. Diana Carolina Hernandez. Associate in Nursing. Victoria Liana Hernandez. Associate in Nursing. Michelle Hinman. Joshua Jose Marquez, Associate in Nursing. Jesse? Jesse Diego Martinez, Associate in Nursing. Ryan May. Isaiah Matthew Aguilera, Associate of Applied Science, Rad Tech, Crimson Scholar. Angelina Ruben Bencomo, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Jeanette Desiree Diaz, Crimson Scholar. Veronica Dietrich Vasquez, Rad Tech. Deandra Murray Espinosa, Crimson Scholar. Sonia Michelle Fry. Crimson Scholar. Serena Marie Gonzalez, Crimson Scholar. Jadelyn Raylene Gutierrez, Crimson Scholar. Antonio Jesus Hernandez, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Sharon Luis Lopez. Esteban? Michael Esteban Munoz, Crimson Scholar. Maribel Ochoa. Lilia Hope Ornelas. Kimberly Porras, Crimson Scholar Graduate.
Daisha Rose Piles, Crimson Scholar. Lisselle Rios, Crimson Scholar. Yaneli Patricia Ronquillo Sanchez, Crimson Scholar. Savannah Marie Torres, Associate of Applied Science and Associate of Science. Dennis Ray Duran, Jr., Associate of Applied Science Respiratory Therapy. Timothy Noah Franco. Cynthia Garcia, Crimson Scholar. Daniel Magallanes, Jr. Malaret? Nadia Silvia Malaret, Associate of Applied Science, Respiratory Therapy and Dental Assistance Certificate. Andrew Paul Mangette, Jessica Sierra, Associate of Applied Science in Respiratory Therapy and an Associate of Arts. Lorena Jasmine Silva. Dion Marcel Wallace. Yesenia Alonso. Cassandra Lynn Alvarez. Isaís Alvidres. Isabela Monique Armendaris Díaz. Cassandra G. Armenta, Associate of Science, Arrowhead Park Early College High School. Yamilet Arredondo. Abdurrahman Ben Ali, meritorious graduate. <laughs> Jeremiah Jordan Bencomo Munoz, Medical Academy. Iram A. Camarena, meritorious graduate, Medical Academy. Elise Camunez, meritorious graduate. Armando, Armando Cano Jr., Alta Vista Early College High School. 
Berenice? Ashley Berenice Medina Cardona, Associate of Science. Is it Angelina? Angelina Katie Chacon, Associate of Science, Meritorious Graduate, Arrow Park, Early College High School. Savannah Chavaria, Associate of Science. Johan Delgado. Jocelyn Gage Eddy. Olivia Elizalde, Crimson, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Alejandro Estrada, Jr. Raylinda Janae Fajardo, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Stephanie Galvan, Meritorious Graduate. Teresa Galvan, Associate of Science and Certificate in Business Fundamentals. Jacqueline, Jacqueline Gomez. Is it Alan or Alan? Alan Leopoldo Gonzalez. Natalie Gandaria. Damian Moises Garcia. Jacqueline E. Gonzalez. Coral Gonzalez. Cristina or Christina? Cristina Gutierrez. <laughs> Troy Jacob Gutierrez. Liana E. Hartzorn, Meritorious Graduate. Esmeralda. Monique Esmeralda Hernandez. Char -char -char. Char -char. Charlize Alicia Herrera. Litsi Yatsiri Herrera. Michaela Ann Kmetz. Heather M. Jones. Daniela Juarez. Rabia Khadija. Okay. Rabia Khadija K. Cameron.
Cameron, meritorious graduate. Ali Amada Madrid, Crimson Scholar graduate. Michelle Monique Milner Casares. Noel or Noel? What do you want? Jason Noel Montoya. Rene Munoz Jr. Linda Marie Navares. Yahaira Ortiz. Ashley Morgan Pearson. Obed G. Ramirez, Crimson Scholar, Associate of Science, Health Information Technology. <laughs> Anthony Lawrence Renteria, Associate of Science. Adriana Reyes, Associate of Applied Science, Medical Assisting, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Alejandra, Alejandra Reyes Navarrete, Crimson Scholar, Meritorious Graduate. Daniela Romero Vega, Associate in General Studies, Associate of Science, Associate of Arts. Wendy L. Rodriguez, Associate in Science. Hector Manuel. Hector Manuel Ramirez, Associate of Science. Victoria. Celeste Victoria Salgado. Noah Kenneth Spivey, meritorious graduate, Arrowhead Park Early College High School. Brandon Santos, Associate of Science. Alfredo Sepulveda. Adriana Margarita Tafoya, Crimson Scholar graduate. Rebecca Denise Terrazas. Maria Tinervia. Sienna R. Torres, meritorious graduate. Oscar F. Trejo. Gabriel Syriac Williams, meritorious graduate. Gabriel 
Michelle Cereal Williams, meritorious graduate. Thank you to our readers, Dr. Josefina Carmona and Mr. Jose Aranda. Thank you to our sign language interpreters, Emily Peroni and Emily Newberry. Thank you to our faculty and student marshals, our commencement committee, which was chaired by Vice President for Student Services, Ike Ledesma. Graduates, please stand. Graduates, graduates, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of New Mexico State University, it is my privilege to confer on each of you the associate's degree and or the certificate of completion as listed in the commencement program and all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities therein. You can now shift your tassels from right to left. This signifies, this signifies an important milestone. Honored guests, I present to you the Doniana Community College graduating class of 2022. This, con this concludes this concludes the DACC 2122 commencement. Graduates, please remain seated until the student marshals lead you out of the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as our graduates exit.
de la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo, de contrabando. Es el lunar que tienes, cielito lindo, junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo, que a mí me toca. Será domingo, cielito lindo, para volver. Ay, 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 ay. Yo bien quisiera que toda la semana, cielito lindo, domingo fuera. Ay, 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 ay. Yo a las morenas quiero. Desde que supe que. Morenas la Virgen de Guadalupe, ay, 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 ay. Es bien sabido que el amor de morenas nunca es fingido, ay, 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 ay. El alma de provinciana huele esa limpia rosa temprana. La verde cara fresca del río son mil palomas tu caserío. Guadalajara, Guadalajara, huele esa pura tierra mojada. Inolvidables, inolvidables como las tardes en que la lluvia desde la loma no nos dejaba ir a Zapopa.
conservas agua del pozo y de tus mujeres lo más hermoso Guadalajara, Guadalajara, tienes el alma más mexicana